Hello everyone, welcome to the shop. I've got two more chainsaws to welcome to my collection, to my family. First you see here is a McCulloch 142. I uh, bought it on eBay for a pretty good deal not too long ago and I just got it in the mail today. It, it runs and it cuts. It's, the chain is pretty dull. It's a 404 pitch chain. Uh, and also it says MC speed on the chain for what it's worth. I think on the tangs. Uh, I can't. Maybe it's on the other side. But uh, maybe it's a McCulloch chain. I don't know. And also on the bar it's stamped with the McCulloch logo. It says McCulloch welded tip. Anyway, it cuts, but it didn't cut too well, but I was amazed with how smoothly it cut. Even with a dull chain and for a old chainsaw like this. Uh, it started with some difficulty. It took a while to, to prime the fuel line with, ten, with uh, gas. I kept having to hold the throttle wide open and uh, squ squirt gas into the carburetor with my, my little, uh, I'll show you this, my little gas prime. I just took a soda bottle, poked a hole in the lid and the cap, and I stuck one of those straws that come on carburetor cleaner cans, stuck that in there, and it works as a pretty good little squirt gas squirt bottle. Anyway, <clears throat> took quite quite some time to get it started, but I eventually got it going. Uh, and it stalled out on me too, I don't know why, I gotta mess around with it a little bit. But, anyway, it's a really nice saw, I'll show you the other side here. Oh man, hard to move around with one arm. And uh, I don't know if all these saws came this way, but it has a black clutch cover, and uh, I, I doubt it'll pick up in, in the camera, but it has that cool crackle finish that a lot of old metal things had back in the day. You don't really see that sort of crackle finish anymore. And it's got a really, really nice, mean-looking bucking spike. I wish I, I wish it had one on the other side as well, but I don't, I don't think there's holes to bolt one in just on this side. Oh well still looks pretty mean. And uh, one of my favorite parts, the good old uh, high-performance, high-flow muffler there. Not much of a muffler, but it's actually not too loud, considering. And uh, it's in really good shape for its age. You, you even can see the uh, most of the label there, 142. Air filter is in pretty good shape. Paint is in really good shape, considering the age. Got all the covers and everything, got the spark plug cover still there. Um, it might just be the cold oil, but the oiler seems to not pump too well. It takes a while for the pump in there to kind of recharge itself with oil. I don't know if it's worn out or what. Got the Tillotson carburetor, Tillotson HL. One of the features I don't particularly like on it is that there's no there's no throttle lock, so you have to hold the saw, hold the throttle with one hand while you crank it over with the other. In addition to being a little dangerous, it's just sort of a pain. And also, something I never really noticed is that the underside of the handle, see, it's just hollow, and uh, so it's kind of uncomfortable to grab it, especially since you're usually pulling up with your hand on this handle to uh, lever the saw through a log. No big deal, I'll probably just stuff something in there and wrap it with tape or something so it's a little more comfortable to use. But even so, it's it's a really smooth cutting saw. And I just noticed this now as I'm talking, the screen is a little dented in. That's no big deal. No big deal at all. Looks like it's missing a screw here. Oh well. Cuts really nice. I'm really happy about it. Uh, really happy about it. It's a big old saw, but it cuts really nice and it's handles really nice for its age and for its size and weight. I'm just amazed how big the saw is. I mean, it doesn't look big. I know it doesn't won't look big in the video or in pictures, but when you actually look at it in person and hold it, I think, uh, let's see if there's anything I have for scale. I don't know if you're familiar with these propane tanks, these little camping propane tanks, but it, it dwarfs that tank. Anyway, that's my first saw. Quite happy with it. And I'll uh, show you the second one. This one I got a while ago. 
I haven't gotten around to making a video of it. This one. It's a home light. Home light EZ. The original model EZ, not that uh XL looking uh super easy, I think they're called. Not a little homeowner chainsaw, this is the real easy. Has all the parts has the spark plug cylinder cover, which a lot of these old home lights are missing. It's got the muffler and the muffler cover, or the outlet. It's not really a muffler. It's loud as hell. This one has great spark, but it's got bad compression, so I'm ordering rings. I think the cylinder is okay. It doesn't look too scored or anything. Uh, it's, in, it's, it's, it's not in that bad of a shape. It's got a 20-inch bar, I think. I think it's 7 16th pitch chain about half gone. If I need to replace the chain, I'll probably end up changing the sprocket because you never see 7 sixteenths anywhere. There. One of my favorite features about the saw is the uh, wrap handlebar. I've never said to myself, gee, I wish I had a wrap handlebar on this chainsaw, but for some reason it just looks cool. I just think it's a cool looking handle. I like how it wraps around the whole saw. I, I actually cleaned it up a little bit, even though it might not look it. There was just gunk all over this, just sawdust oil gunk. But uh, even though it's ugly and hard to clean off, it, it's a blessing in disguise because it protects the saw from rusting and corroding over time, sitting in a barn. You can see the direct drive. I think it's uh, Home Light's first direct drive chainsaw. I'm not entirely sure on that, though. There's a better decal here. Home Light Easy. A manual oiler. There's the, uh, oh, well, who am I kidding? That's not going to show up on the camera. Home light chainsaw model EZ, serial number 679124. The one thing broken on this saw, unfortunately, is this, uh, mount right here where the handlebar bolts in. You see there's only one bolt in here because this hole is just completely gone and the other hole is only half there. <clears throat> I don't know how the hell they managed to break that, but they did. Oh well, it, it's still the handle still seems pretty sturdy. It's not like I'm going to be using this saw for firewood cutting or logging or anything. I'll just fire it up every now and again to irritate the neighbors and maybe uh, hopefully one of these days bring it to a chainsaw show or a engine show or tractor show or whatever and uh, do some cuts for the for the audience or who knows what but that, that's the second one I, I haven't tried to uh, put gas in it the seller on eBay said that it, it would fire and quit and so I, I figured well it's probably bad compression <clears throat> uh, if it fires that means it's got good spark which it does but uh, it's got only like 90 pounds compression and I put I squirted some oil in the cylinder and it went up to like a hundred and sixty pounds of compression just with oil in the cylinder so that's a good way to a good quick way to test to see if your rings and or your cylinder is shot but luckily I don't think the cylinder is bad it, it looks it looks or it may be a little scuffed but I think I think it's salvageable maybe just cleaned up with a little bit of a very fine emery cloth or something I think it should be all right. I never understood why these old home lights had this little chunk taken out here, and the cooling fins also have that square taken out. Never could figure it out. There's nothing, nothing down there. There's no screw or bolt that you need to access. I always thought it would look a lot nicer if uh, it was more continuous without that little chunk taken out. But who knows? I don't think we'll ever know the answer to that one. If you do, though, leave me a comment. I'd love to know. So anyway, that's it. These are my two new saws. I gotta say, I was pretty excited when the Home Light Easy came in, but uh, this McCulloch 142, man, this is a monster. But for however big of a monster it is, it uh, it's pretty smooth and it's not too loud, surprisingly, and handles nice and cuts nice. I'm really excited about it.
This 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 will be a firewood saw for me. This McCulloch. Whenever I encounter a real big tree. Anyway, I'll stop talking now. Give you one last look at the saws. Maybe I'll uh, have a cutting video of the McCulloch soon. But as always, thank you for watching. And uh, come back for more.